and dump the clutch. You gotta make sure you get a burnout in, and you gotta make sure that you almost wreck. That's very necessary when you're driving a Pessima. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad and the good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. We are going to be showing you how to drive the manual transmission in your new uh, Ibushu, or however you say it, Pessima. So, this vehicle, as I stated, is equipped with this magical third pedal right here. And we're going to get into the what, what that is in, in a little bit. So a little bit has passed, and now we're going to cover what this is. So this right here is called a clutch. So now what does a clutch do? A clutch allows you to shift gears in a manual transmission. If you knew this before this video, you have succeeded, and you're one step further than a lot of people. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first step to follow is you got to floor it. manual transmission. Whenever you're around sports cars you gotta, you gotta dump the clutch and rev it, bounce off the rev meter, man. Alright. Oh, I think I just hit something. And who cares? I'll explain what I'm stuck on. Alright, let's, let's buy a new one. Alright, so we just bought a new Passima. And now we are really going to show you how to drive a manual transmission Passima. Alright, so... If you're here because you have tried to drive a manual in the past and you maybe you failed, you know, good job for for giving a shot first. But today I'm hoping that I can help you to drive your manual transmission equipped vehicle a little bit better. So what the first step is is we're going to start with the car off. So you can be in gear, you can be in neutral, you can be reverse, whatever you want to be. So the first step is most of your cars today have a um, a clutch transmission. Clutch safety switch is the, is the word I was looking for. So a real car won't start unless the clutch is in. And some vehicles, if it has a push button start, you need to have the brake in. This vehicle doesn't need, doesn't have a push button start, so we don't need a brake pedal. It has a manual transmission, so we need to start it with the clutch pedal in. So go ahead and put that in, and let's go ahead and start up the car. All right. So now that we are in, we are neutral. You can tell if it's a neutral because you can bump it side to side. No, you can't see it right now, but. If you can move side to side, you're good. Now we can let everything out. The parking brake's on, so you're all good. So, now we're getting ready for the hardest part of driving a manual transmission, which is trying to take off. So you gotta feather this clutch in just the right way so that you can take off. So let's go ahead and show you how that is by turning right. First, always check and make sure there's no traffic. Alright, let's go ahead and move 
move up through pro mode immediately. So you're up here on a hill, and sometimes they're hard to take off on. Some people will just try to do the to just try to do the quick move over. Sometimes it works, but a lot of times you'll just kill it like that. So if this happens, go ahead and start the car back up. And what I've always done is go ahead and set your e-brake, get the clutch biting a little, and then let go of the e-brake, and you're caught, and chances are you're probably just going to go up the hill just fine. Now this is, this is a difficult skill to learn, so we'll just go back to normal learning after we almost get hit by a semi, you know, not, not a big deal at all. Um, so let's go ahead and flip a U-turn. Alright, so we're on, we're on semi-flat ground. You can tell that we're not on flat ground because we can roll backwards. So what we're going to do now is slightly allow the clutch, give it some throttle. And now you're moving. Alright, now perfect time to demonstrate this. Whenever you're at a stoplight, make sure you're not in gear with the clutch in. What you want to do is you want to put it in neutral, which is the center position where you can move back and forth, and let your clutch completely out. This saves your throwout bearing so you don't damage your transmission while you're sitting there in traffic. Okay, now light's green, so clutch in, first gear, let it out partially, give it some gas. Now we're good. Now we're going. As you saw there, I did not use the clutch to slow down because I had enough I had enough speed where I could just slow down just fine. So big lesson. Don't do this where you have to floor it. This is bogging your engine. As you see, I just stalled out on a hill. This is not a good situation to be in. So let's go ahead and start the car back up. And I've kind of learned how to do this, so so if you if you want to, you can do that. If you have no traffic behind you, it, it's a, it's fine to do. Uh, it's a lot better than going backwards down a hill. guy is stopping for us. Maybe not, just kidding. Alright. Alright, we're coming up to a stop sign. Clutch in, neutral, let it out, and you're good. Now we're going to put the clutch back in, we're going to turn right. And we're going to make sure that we shift around. 3,500, you can shift at 2,000 RPM if you want to. There's really no specific place that you need to shift at, just whatever kind of feels good, I guess. As long as you're not, like, just bumping it up at high RPM for zero reason. Now, if you're going down the hill, one of the best things to do is be in a in a lower gear that will that'll help the engine to slow down the car rather than putting all the wear on your brakes. So as we can see, driving a manual transmission equipped car isn't all that hard. It just it has a little bit of a learning curve. But once you get it, there's not really much to it. Make 
sure you can see some drivers out on the, on the road. Alright, let's go ahead and park. Alright, and then when you're parked on a slope like this, always make sure that you set your e-brake. So now we're going to go ahead and shut off the car. And, well, now you can say that you successfully drove a manual transmission equipped car. This is a skill that is kind of fading away in today's world. So it is kind of a privilege in a way to know how to drive a manual transmission equipped car or vehicle. And it's something that you can brag about to your friends. So now what everyone might have came here for is uh, can you do a J-turn in a Pessima? Well, we're gonna find out. Let's hope there's not a vehicle coming up behind us. Try not to do that when you're Is it advisable in everyday driving? No. <laughs> uh, definitely um, not legal and very frowned upon to do it in traffic. Big lesson right now is always make sure that when you're driving that your steering wheel does not fall off of your dashboard. that to happen. Alright, so let's go ahead and see. There's nobody behind us. Let's do a downhill J-turn. Biggest of advice I have for if you're doing a J turn is grab it from the bottom of the steering wheel and whip it around. Then, when you're ready, throw it back in the first gear. Don't do this in regular traffic either. The lane that the 
truck is in is not a lane that's a shoulder. And that's not approved of to do. brake is set. This little thing right here. Make sure it's set. Put your car in neutral. Turn it off. And then go ahead and put into gear. Um, the other thing you can do is while it's running, you can have that off and put it in gear. Um, turn it off and pull the e-brake. You can turn it off and pull the e-brake have e brake on then turn it off it doesn't matter um, but you always want to have the safety precaution because if we take the e-brake off well as we see the car starts rolling into traffic and that's not good <laughs> so always make sure that if you're parked up on a hill that you set both as a precaution Go ahead and see if we can talk about an area where we can just park and by just leaving it in gear. This looks like a pretty flat area. So, this might be a great example. So, I'm leaving the car in gear and I'm completely let out. You can see by my feet, none of the pedals are touched. So, in this case, the e-brake is not set and as we can see the car is not rolling this is on a flat plane but now if we were to get in here and press the clutch as we see the car starts moving but as soon as I put it back in it's fine so here you could just leave it or I highly recommend every time you park just pull the e-brake it's not that hard to do, it's just a simple hand motion, get a little bit of exercise. Um, but yeah, that's that's the story on how to drive a manual transmission on an Ibishu Pessima equipped with the manual transmission and the magical third pedal. Alright, well thank you everybody and I hope that you you learned something today and hopefully you can apply it to your driving experiences.